Ducks are out again. So you gotta figure out how to get it back in. This has been a problem for the past about week. The ducks, they keep getting out of their net, but it's only in the morning. And what my thinking is, is that the only thing that's changed in the last week, week and a half, is that they've started to lay eggs. And in the paddock, where I have them here, inside this net, it's all pretty open. And what I think is going on is that they're looking for a place to lay their eggs that's a little bit more secluded. And then when one duck goes, all the ducks go. You see, besides the trailer here, they don't really have anywhere to kind of get to themselves. It's just really open. They don't have nesting boxes. Because if I put nesting boxes on top of the trailer, the ducks don't even get on top of the trailer. So they'll just end up not using it. Guess, over here in this fence row, it's a little bit more grown up because I can't get it with the mower too well. I bet you, if we look around hard enough, we're gonna find an egg or two. Because that's where I found an, a couple eggs the last couple days let's see and sure enough look at this here's a little nest that they built and we got two more duck eggs you can see how it's a little bit more private it's a little bit more secluded so how can I replicate this here and have it be mobile I think I might have a pretty good idea because I don't throw anything away I keep everything it drives Nicole crazy but helps me come up with ideas and you know helps me repurpose stuff we cut a 55 gallon barrel in half for our water trough. What if this right here, the top half, I cut a hole right here and a hole on the other side and allow the ducks to use this as a nesting box. It's light, it's easy to move, I can throw it on the trailer when I move them, portable, it'll keep, uh, it'll keep them secluded. I think this might work. All right, here goes nothing. I think that'll work. You can duck under there and get a little spot to do the business. Let's do a set. Now we'll do a second side. Now we'll do a second side. So just in case one of them goes in there, one of them, they don't get trapped and they can't. You know, they have a place to run out, so there's no fighting.
think that'll work? Maybe you need to be a little bit taller, but you know what? The ducks can duck in under there. Might clean it up a little bit, kind of brush off any of the plastic, like here, so they don't eat it. But, you know, I think this will work. Set it down. They go do their business in there. I just lift it up in the morning. Voila. All right, duckies, let's see if this works. I'm gonna put it on the other side of the netting here. That way, it's far enough away from where they like to go lay normally. We'll just leave it right there. Huh. And you see, when I go to move it, all I have to do is pick it up, put it on the trailer, and we're good, and we're done. I can move that around, you know, new spot every day so it doesn't get all nasty and dirty under there. What I just hope they don't do is they don't go hang out under there during the day. They just use it at uh, just use it at night. Or what I could do, I really am making this up as I go along. What I could do is that when I come out here at night, that's when I can place the um, their what we'll call that nesting, you know, nesting barrel down. That way they don't go under it during the day and kind of get it all nasty. What ducks do, they're not like a chicken. They don't lay their egg in the afternoon. They lay their egg early in the morning between 4.30 and 6 o'clock in the morning. That's when they lay their egg. So if at night when they don't need the shelter and then they're out just doing, roaming around doing their thing, I can move their nesting barrel down and then just put it back up in the morning. It's a thought. What I want to do today though, I want to leave it there so they get used to it. Because they got to get used to, you know, anything new for them is always going to be just different. And they're going to have some resistance to it. So if I just leave that there for a couple days, they might not lay in there. They might not lay in there tonight, but they can get used to it. They can check it out. And hopefully in the next couple days, they're making good use of their nesting barrel. I actually really do think that this is going to work. I think this is really going to work. And you know what? Something that we would have thrown away that we didn't have a use for because it has holes in the top, now has a use. They love their water. Yes, yes, yes. I know. You're going to honk at me. More of a screech. So annoying. But that's what keeps the predators away. They do a great job at it. I got to tell you, those geese, man, we have hawks fly over. We have, you know, pigs that were just 20 feet away from them. They, they just... They know how to protect, they know how to guard, they guard their flock. And you know what, having two of them, because those two actually grew up with ducks, were the place that we got them from, you know what, it's not like they just hang out together. They're part of the duck flock, they hang out with all the ducks and the ducks follow them around, they protect them 100%. So that's why, that one there is named Moose. He's Nicole wanted to name him Moose. I think I'm gonna call him Sentinel, because that's kind of what they look like. They go, hang out with the ducks, Nothing. They just squawk and honk at everything. They're actually kind of intimidating. They're actually kind of heavy to pick up. <laughs> and now we're back inside with our two duck eggs that we're going to be putting in our incubator with, uh, we have like nine in there right now. So now hopefully, you see I lost the top to one of it. Um, these will hatch out and we can add to our flock. So to see if that nesting barrel works and to see uh, the ducklings hatch out and should be we're looking at 26 more days. Hit the subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when you put up new videos. Hit the like button because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment if you like. Alright, until next time, see ya. Bye.